Welcome to PNK Stocks YouTube channel. Today we'll see previous day high, previous day low, previous day close. If we mark all these three, then we can work easy strategy. Let us see now how we can do that. This is a green candle, bullish candle. In this, how we need to mark? This is previous day high. This is previous day low. This is previous day close. We need to do this on daily candle. Similarly for bearish thing. Everything is same only close will be change. So this is same as previous day high, candle high, candle low. Here is the close right for bearish candle close will be at the bottom. You know open this is high, this is low it will close here in this open here low high close so if you understand this we can create wonders now instead of we draw this we have a tool in trading view so if you mark the tool these lines will automatically come so we should not worry now for this we need to understand few candlestick patterns at least three or four I'll tell you a few. A hammer candle. Reverse hammer candle. This color should be anything. Hammer means hammer, whether it is red or green doesn't matter, red or green doesn't matter. This is bullish signal, this is bearish signal. Similarly, engulfing. This is bearish engulfing. It will form on the top and price will fall down. This is bullish engulfing. This will form at the bottom at the support and prices will go up. So hammer, reverse hammer, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing and other one important is the morning star like this this will form at the support downside and green candle from here market will go up similarly evening star i'm not drawing the wicks you can understand evening star green candle green candle and then finally it form a bearish candle market will fall from here so understand at least these three candlestick pattern and we can do wonders if you google it you can find many candlestick pattern there are 16 different candlestick pattern understand at least you know three to four candlestick pattern hammer candle from there prices will go up 
this is morning star kind of a candle prices will go up bullish engulfing prices will go up this is piercing pattern little bit tough to remember from here prices will go up this is indirectly if you club these two candles it will form a hammer candle morning star prices will go up Mor morning star prices will go up this is also called a three black cross three bullish candles again market will go up this is you know hammer candle if that forms at the top of the resistance place market will fall down reverse hammer market will fall down at the resistance bearish engulfing breaking below market will fall down evening star prices will fall down three black crows this is the bearish candlestick pattern market will fall from here earlier we saw piercing pattern this is called dark cloud cover reverse of it this will form a reverse hammer kind of a candle and market will fall down so if you understand this candlestick pattern you can google it and find out and uh, we can do wonders now let us see what is previous day high low close strategy how this will work What's happening? I want red color line, right? And one more line. Okay. So we'll take pen instead of that. this is previous day high this is previous day low this is previous day close there are three scenarios so if a candle straight away forms here hope you understand what is this candle reverse hammer and previous day high is the resistance from here market will fall and first resistance will be previous day close if this previous day close breaks with a bigger candle then prices will come to previous day low if a candlestick forms at the previous day low either hammer candle or any bullish engulfing candle or a morning star kind of a candle this is a bullish sign from here market will go up and first hurdle will be here so if you have some quantity at least get out of 50 percent of the quantity here and if this candle this previous day close breaks with a bigger candle then prices will go up to here if price starts here as a bullish engulfing here that means market will go up to here and sometimes what will happen prices will fluctuate here and it will break this one with a bigger candle and prices even move higher if a hammer candle or some candle forms at the previous day close that means market will get reverse prices will come down up to previous day low 
and any bullish candle prices will go again up so this is a small concept you need not worry just put a daily candle so if, if we draw a daily candle and on the daily candle top we can draw like this so this is the close this is the green color body this is the low here this is the close here this is the high here if you take a daily time frame candle and uh, the previous day candle you need to draw this as we have a uh, trading view tool so it will automatically draw that one now let us see how this will work out on the charts now this is the nifty chart and in this we have taken the high low yesterday this is the indicator from high low yesterday indicator high low close yesterday if you type that you will get it high low close yesterday this is the thing that we need and if you click that you will be getting this and in this you know yesterday high what we thought is resistance so from there prices will move on that is the reason i taken red color yesterday low that is the support wire prices will move up that is the reason i have taken green and close is some odd color apart from these three if you add pivot points as well hope you aware what is pivot points this is again you know one kind of a support resistance with pivot points is the middle one and at the bottom side three supports on the top side three resistances why we are drawing this is if price is opens yesterday price is open yesterday's highs on top of it then we don't have any support resistance lines that is the reason even if you draw this if price opens previous day below to the close or above to the high then this will work and if you see that prices opens in between then you can just close all this if you feel that there are heavy lines on the chart otherwise you can keep it so now take an example and see how this will work and apart from this if we want to take a trade in middle then you can have a vwap line as well to draw because even vwap line works as a resistance or else it will work as a support so if you want to take a trade in between of pivot points are previous day high low in between still you can take but that could be bit risky if you are a beginner if you are experienced person then it's easy for you now let us see how these things we need to work on so now the vwap line we thought of if price is below vwap that is bearish if price is above vwap that is bullish bullish sign so this is today's candles this is a 5 minutes chart on nifty let us see now how today panned out price opened here on top of previous day close here it's not from the previous day high from previous day close first 5 minutes candle is a big bearish candle then there was a little consolidation and you can see price is rejecting at the vwap line you can see bearish engulfing if you take a trade here you can get this kind of a profit from here 6 not 6 10 to 558 that is 50 points 50 points in nifty 
is 2500 rupees if you work on options at atm you will be winning 25 points 25 points again 1250 rupees it's not a small amount see if you are a scalper how many times price gone up to the vwap rejected vwap rejected vwap rejected this is a previous day low when prices rejecting here after some time prices will decline heavily and this previous day low doesn't work as a support anymore because prices moved here and there now see here evening star kind of a candle or bearish engulfing kind of a candle if you taken a trade here as we know that you know this line may not work as a support prices will come up to next pivot point so if you are taken a trade here at uh, 572 from there see prices come up to 500 that is around 70 points as day ends here prices didn't come up to the next pivot line so you might have got two to three trades now in my last video i shown bank nifty strategy with i have given a table where out of five trades you win one two or three trades still you can earn lot of money i shown practically how you need to work at the end of this video i'll give you same kind of a chart for nifty as well how you need to trade with how many lots and how many points that you need to target see we should not target 100 points or 200 points in nifty if you target 20 30 points with good quantity then still you can win you can make wonders now that we'll see at the end of the video let us see another another day's thing so this is previous day's high this is previous day's close this is previous day's low now prices opened here from there it again moved up and uh, previous day's close it's taken support can you see that and uh, this is the candle evening star kind of a candle this is your entry and your target will be previous day low this green line but see the next candle such a big candle it broken easily that means prices will go to the next period point see you got it bigger 708 to 140 points that means 70 points in nifty we don't such a big thing if you are taking with more multiple lots then you can exit with you know around 20 points one lot and uh, rest of the thing you can trail for up to 50 points get on to the next trade see prices opened here came to the low become bullish engulfing then see prices moved up again bullish engulfing moved up at the end of the day you got entire day full profit but you will be exiting here you will be entering again here as a scalper up to here c price is stayed at the close longer period of time when price rejected from vwap and also broken the air yesterday's low sorry yesterday's close then c prices was there for some point of time and then price moved up drastically here you can consider this as a morning star kind of a candle and you can enter here when you see a bigger candle breaking previous days high that means it will reach to the next period point so you need to just understand some uh, price action entries so that it's easy for you can you see this this is bullish harami candle on breaking up the above and uh, here also you know with a bigger candle we have broken prices can reach till next period point this is very good profit again bearish harami candle came to next period point you know this kind of a range bound market 
we can mint money see here bearish harami kind of a candle at the pivot point pivot level when it broken with a bigger candle at vwap it reached previous day low from there it reached pivot point again a evening star kind of a candle is reached at the low from low bullish harami candle it reached next pivot high one trade second trade third trade four trades you got all are successful trades price started here try to go up see we don't have a clue and prices open in between we are not going to trade at least first 15 minutes of the day we are not going to trade let price settle down see here prices reached previous day low this sorry uh, price almost gapped up this is the previous day high previous day high there is a big hammer candle from there price consolidated some time and uh, break in this pivot point and we were with a bigger candle that means prices definitely reach to the next pivot range and if you are not taken a trade here also see here bullish engulfing price reached up see if if you miss a bus somewhere you can go and buy near our vwap that again will give you sufficient profit this day also big gap up a bullish candle and you can see a small hammer candle but we may not consider because that is quite small then price come down and then this is a bullish hammer candle this bullish hammer candle is bigger than this and that candle again formed at the vwap line if you are comfortable taking a trade on top of it your entry and the next pivot is your target see this pivot worked as a support for quite some time then it moved even up again price come down at the pivot you got a hammer candle see price moved such a big up hope you understand how to work on previous day high close low see now why we drawn pivot point here prices started here and that previous day close you got a big big bullish harami candle instead of you take a trade here on the half of the these two candles half of there you can place the entry because if you are taking such a big on top of it bottom it will be a very big sl so you can put an entry if you are lucky enough then prices will come because previous day low uh, sorry previous day close is very nearby so prices came here from here you can got a bigger bigger profit we are not targeting a very big profit we are targeting 20 30 points but if you are working with multiple lots enter 50% here enter another 50% here or whatever way that you are following but you need to follow always the same kind of a lot size at least for a month next month you can change and continue entire month the same way see at the pivot point bearish engulfing you got it right we'll see another day and we'll wind up and we'll see how we can work with the nifty candle gap up formed above previous day high 
price come down settled at the close then you can see bullish engulfing once it breaks you got a heavy profit similarly bearish engulfing good profit bearish harami good profit so previous day high previous day close previous day low with these three clubbing with the pivot points we can do wonders why i'm telling is because lot of novice investors they struggle and they take entry somewhere here they'll exit loss and they again enter here they exit with loss so if you have some stations when to enter where to enter this is your station this is your station if our price moved above these stations then our pivot points is the station for this is for bearish entry this one we should not take entry somewhere in between where it's easy for hitting our sls see here if you are entering at the station this is previous day low we need to enter somewhere here but prices moved down and our our pivot point is here this is the bullish engulfing kind of a pattern if you enter here this is your exit again morning star kind of a candle enter here this is your sl see the profit that you got this is some bearish engulfing candle but we have a previous day close very far to the entry so we are not taking and price also moved accordingly now we'll see how we can you know getting 20 30 points even our sls get hit out of five trades if you win one trade still you can win every big profit on profit that we'll see how this will work on nifty right now we saw the nifty strategy how we can make 20 30 40 50 points uh, multiple times in a day just now and i'm i prepared a chart here if we trade strictly based on this rules then every day or every week will pocket good amount of money uh, with us so before you know we jump into this all my videos are only educational purpose and if you are putting your actual money then uh, you need to consult your financial advisor so you know there are three different tables i shown you how to scale up yourself to the next level to get more money with the same kind of a uh, setup with the 20 30 points now let us see now you know monday you started trading and uh, with one lot that is 50 quantity you put 10 point sl and targeted for 20 points and uh, you are successful then you are getting 1000 rupees if you are successful for the next trade again repeat the same thing when you fail the first trade then come on to the case two this is the you no know, first trade you failed and 500 rupees your loss as 10 points sl now trade 2 is again same one lot 50 points same sl and 30 points as profit so if you win here you will be getting 1500 points that means you lost 500 points in your first trade now you got 1500 rupees that is minus 500 you are earning 1000 rupees in the two trades this could be on the same day or next to next day once you successful in the second trade go back and do only the first trade when you fail first trade then you need to come to the second trade what happens if you lost first trade if you lost second trade then third trade you lost first trade 500 rupees loss second trade 500 rupees loss third trade you are working with two lots same 10 points sl 20 points profit with the two lots if you are successful you are getting 1000 rupees and you lost first two trades 500 500 if you minus that with the three trades you are earning 1000 rupees 
what if you lost first trade you lost second trade you lost third trade as well first trade you lost second trade you lost third trade you lost 1000 rupees this is because you traded with two lots 2000 loss in the fourth trade if you are successful here you are doing two quantity same but uh, working for 30 points profit you are earning 3000 that means 2000 as you are given already to the market you lost if you are gaining 3000 then uh, 2000 you are gaining 3000 1000 rupees profit if you are successful in this then go back to the first and you work only for 1000 rupees what if you lost first trade second trade third trade even four trades first trade second trade third trade fourth trade you lost four trades that is 3000 rupees on the fifth trade if you are successful then you will be getting 4000 rupees you are working with four lots again for only 20 points 4000 rupees that means you lost 3000 rupees and uh, with the you know fifth thing you earned 4000 that means 1000 rupees your profit after fifth case you will be going back and working with the only one lot whenever you are successful you're going back and working with only with the one lot thing, you know, getting thousand rupees. Now this table, this strategy is designed to earn every day thousand rupees. That means if you win thousand rupees today, you're not trading anymore. You're coming to the, coming back to the next day and you are trading. If you practice like this for an year, you can scale up with the multiple lots with the same quantity here, no risk involved much you know your loss is only 10 points on each trade <coughs> so 10 points loss you are working for 20 points or 30 points nifty 20 points 30 points is easy to doable now if you want to work this in the options or futures it's up to you if you have big amount of money you can work with the futures if you are like me, you know, with less budget, then work with the ATM CEPE on the particular week that what you are working. Hope you understand. <coughs> when you are putting your money, then please consult your financial advisor. This video is educational purpose. So you are successful doing this and you are not coming into the fourth or fifth anymore. In one, two, three trades itself, you are winning all the time that means your risk reward is you know around 60 percent if you are earning in two trades then your risk reward is great you are earning, winning in first trade is 100 percent winning in first and second itself is you know around 80 percent success rate if you are winning in the second trade itself every time or one two three trades and you are done this strategy for an year and you are successful you know this intention is to earn thousand rupees per day if you lost first trade then go back you know do the second trade and earn 1500 that whatever you are given back to the market 500 few minus you are getting thousand rupees on the third trade this one and what if you, if you lost the fifth trade then you don't have sufficient skills now you need to study the project you need to fine tune your mind. Your mind is not, you know, up to the mark to the stock market. For that, you need to do a lot of meditation and all. Here, see now, when you entered, you are putting 10 points as an SL, 20 points as a profit. Let's market go either ways, right? We studied some strategies. Now, this strategy again, especially on day high previous day high previous day low and uh, previous day close with vwap and this strategy will easily give you 20 30 40 even 50 points we saw that you know 100 to 200 points success also getting 20 30 points is very easy so now you scaled up and you are you know success rate is you know on the first trade second trade itself then your capital is around 5 lakhs then you can scale up with you know doing 5 lots that means every trade you are getting 5000 if you are lost on the first trade then second trade you are getting 7500 rupees detect the first trade loss 
then again 5000 third trade similarly you know always you are working only on the first thing if you are successful when you lost first trade then you are jumping into the second trade if you are successful on the second trade go back to the first trade so see this information plan this accordingly and uh, you know you are very successful and out of five trades you are winning one two or three then you can implement that again you know on the first thing you need to work for an year if you are successful then come to the second thing then you can work for an year and again you know you should not go to the fifth trade at all one two three is the maximum if you are coming to the fifth trade that means you know you are not reading the chart properly or you are not understood the strategy properly that is the reason so you worked the first thing this you can do with 50,000 rupees you are successful on one two trades you are winning or one two three trades you are winning you scaled up and you are winning on this you know uh, 5,000 you are winning, uh, winning every day or you know every day if you are successful on 1, 2, 3, you are not going into the 4th or 5th, then you can scale up to the next thing. If by chance you hit the case for 5 trades loss, then you go back and you need to start with the 1 lot strategy instead of the 5 lot strategy. If you are successful 1st and 2nd, then you can come back to the 3rd thing. This is, you know, 10 lots where, you know, uh, people who has very successful working 10 years on the market will do. And this is, you know, per trade you will be earning 1000 rupees. If you lost first trade, you will be earning second trade with 15,000. Where first trade, your stop loss is 5000. If you detect, then you are winning this uh, 10,000 like that. Same table, we increased only the lot size. First with one lot, second with uh, five lots, third with 10 lots. So, hope you understand this strategy. And... Uh, for a novice investors who has very less capital for stocks, intraday trading, for them, I will be bringing another video next week. So, please do subscribe my channel if you are first timer looking into the video. If you are already, you know, watching my channel, then like this video, put a positive comment and uh, share this video to your family and friends. Thank you. Bye-bye. We will meet next Saturday with another video that could be equities. How a person can, you know, keep five stocks and work similar kind of a strategy and they can also mint money based on the strategy with the same kind of a you know quantity that what we did in this this is especially for nifty and previous thing that we discussed on the bank nifty with the same kind of a table probably if possible i'll do the same kind of a table for equities as well for next week and we'll see thank you bye bye